Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. This is the promised presentation on how you can cure short sightedness without drugs or surgery. Inshallah. If you haven't listened to supplement number 12 on my channel, wearing minus powered lenses will weaken your eyesight with every passing hour. Please consider doing so. Many of the technicalities and the signs that you may conceivably want to know first on how short-sightedness develops and how plus lens therapy can be expected to reverse it are covered in that supplement and of course the letter also covers the paramount step of how reducing the use of minus powered lenses to a bare minimum. To a bare minimum is the first and most important step in uh, the sealing process. Presently, this will be a meat and potatoes sort of presentation with very little in the way of science or technicalities and I will dispense mostly instructions on how to proceed with the therapy. First, items you will need for plus dance therapy. To start, you need one instrument alone. You need what are commonly known as reading glasses. Almost every optician sells them. You can get a ready-made pair, pair of these for two to three hundred rupees. And these come in a standard range of varying powers. The lowest of which is typically plus one D where D stands for diopters and where the highest power is that you typically find available is plus three diopters. The process of determining what power of reading glasses is suitable to, to, for you to start the therapy with is the first leg. Second, how to proceed with the therapy. Step one, identify what sort of work occupies most of your time. Of course, one is being asked to identify whether you spend most of your time on the computer or perhaps reading an actual hard copy or on a smartphone and what is significant here is the quantification of how far away the object of attention is. So is the object of attention as far away as your smartphone screen or as far away, further away as it would be if it is your computer screen. And the rationale for this will be illustrated in the next step. Step two. Do the following experiment. Perform this activity while wearing reading glasses of plus one diopters. This will almost certainly cause everything except very near objects to appear blurred. That blur you experience is the catalyst for the healing response. 
Presently, if you think you can continue to perform the aforementioned activity with reading glasses of plus one diopters, then that is superb. You can start the therapy with this power. For many people, however, plus one diopters will be too strong a power. They will not be able to see a computer screen or at least a text on the computer screen and some people will even be unable to read a book with reading glasses of this, this strength. In the affirmative, you will have to ask the optician to make a pair of reading glasses for you of a lower power. When I started, I used plus 0.75 diopters for working on the computer. You may have to start with plus 0.5 or even plus 0.25. As a general rule, the weaker your eyesight is, the lower the power you'll have to begin the therapy with. Step 3. Keep the reading glasses on when you work. Wearing glass power lenses that are powerful enough to cause a blur trains your eyeball to see long distance again. It's not unlike resistance training. That blur is akin to lifting as much weight as you can till your muscles start quivering with the effort. Step 4. This step is optional. Train each eye separately. All this requires is that you keep one eye closed when you wear your reading glasses. Okay. This is made much easier if you use an eye patch. If you perform the exercise on each eye separately, the results are better. Again, this is akin to rehabilitative physical exercise. Just as doing exercises that train each limb separately produces better rehabilitation for weakened muscles, so it is with lost lens therapy. Step 5. The final step. As soon as you notice that your reading glasses no longer produce the blur they used to on the same activity when you first used them. You're ready to graduate. This means your long distance vision is returning. Thereafter, you must increase the power to continue the optimal healing response. There is no change of objective. The healing response is optimized if you use the highest plus power that you can manage to work with. By the time I finished my plus lens therapy, I was using plus 1.75 diopters for when I use the computer and plus, plus 4 diopters when I was reading. Now before I conclude, um, I'd like to insert a note that is uh, taken from anecdotal feedback from people who practice plus lens therapy and it should also serve to clarify something but uh, there might be a little bit of ambiguity when I say that you use the highest plus power that you can manage to work with. So for both of these purposes, uh, 
what people uh, have discovered or uh, is that when if you use reading glasses for of and you adhere to the principle that you use a strong enough power that it produces a blur then of course you would have separate reading glasses for when you're working on the computer and uh, the object of attention is quite a bit further away than if you were looking at a smartphone screen presumably this would be anywhere from 6 to 12 inches so now the question may arise that if uh, I have two separate reading pairs of reading glasses and they they're perfectly calibrated so that the intensity of blur is both the same when I look at text on a smartphone and when I look at text on the screen then is there a difference between the two and this is this question is further made further important because I just said that you use the highest plus power that you can use so I must clarify that in that case uh, they should not be taken to mean that uh, if you wear a reading glasses of a stronger power but you can find yourself to reading on to, to, lo to looking at an object that is much closer like your smartphone then the therapeutic outcome would be just as good as if you were looking at a computer screen which is further away uh, actually uh, no it will not uh, anecdotal evidence suggests that even if the intensity of the blur is the same if you look at objects that are situated situated further away in reality not just according to your eyeball in terms of the blur but they're actually further away like a computer screen is further away than your smartphone screen then the therapeutic outcome is better so this guideline of using the highest plus power it doesn't apply to this relative scenario it doesn't mean that you use a higher power and you bring the object actually closer keep the object as far away as you can and then use the highest power that you can work with. As a postscript, I'd like to ask you a question. On the consideration of how long it can be expected to take before it becomes evident to the patient that vision is indeed improving with plus lens therapy. What kind of healing curve would inspire you? Does doing the therapy daily for a few hours, for one month, sound like a winner? How about one week? How about the very next morning, inshallah? As my memory serves me, there was discernible improvement in my eyesight when I woke up the morning after I started plus lens therapy. And my vision kept improving with every passing day till it was somewhere between three and six months later that I realized that the need for minus powered glasses, even if I had, even if I was going to drive in the dark, was a thing of the past. And I discarded them altogether. And it stayed that way for 13 years. Alhamdulillah. And that is it for today's presentation.